Guys, the future is here. This thing has been the missing puzzle piece to my full-time off-grid life on the road, and I'm so stoked to show you what this thing can do. But first, let's go back a bit. So I've been on the road for about five years now. My biggest hesitation when I got into this life was how am I gonna stay connected enough to work full-time from a van and upload from anywhere? Then came the coffee shop era. I would just always pull up to the closest coffee shop or library I could find and hope that the internet was available and good enough for me to upload and do what I needed to do um, all the time. Then, after a while of doing that, I finally looked into the Signal Booster. Don't get me wrong, this thing actually worked really well. It did a great job of boosting a cell signal as long as there was signal to boost. But here's the thing, the more I've begun traveling to remote places with my new home on wheels, you know, the more I've found all of these dead zones and uh, it just gets harder for me to stay out there in those places that I want to visit uh, for, for longer, but I'm so limited in my time because I know I have to go right back to the grid, the, the Wi-Fi signals that are out there that I've been so tethered to up until now. And that is where Starlink, my new friend Dishy, comes into play. Yes, that is actually what it is called. And for those of you wondering what exactly is Starlink, it is a huge satellite system that aims at providing even the most remote areas of the Earth with high-speed internet service. It started back in 2014 when SpaceX launched the Starlink project. A few years later, May 2019, the first 60 satellites were launched. Now, there are over 2,300 working satellites with plans to expand far, far beyond that. If you haven't experienced the train of lights soaring across the night sky, which are the satellites in a row, find yourself a satellite tracker app to catch the spectacular view. test out the Starlink. I think we're gonna camp out here tonight at this pull-off. Pretty hazy, foggy day out. We will see how this Starlink uh, performs out here where there's no cell signal. So let's give it a try. Okay, we are putting the Starlink on the roof so that we are out of people's way. Because <laughs> there's like two party with the Starlink on the roof. Yes. <laughs> Maximum exposure. <laughs> Let's go see what it looks like from the bottom. Starlink. Yes. So here is the modem that the Starlink comes with. So when we fire this up, and we're going to see what the speeds look like. By the way, here are the instructions that came with. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you basically just plug it in. That's it. And then you open the app and the app does the rest. So let's jump into the Starlink app. Make sure we're online. Go ahead and run our speed test. See where we're at now. 70. Come on! It's just always so suspenseful every time I'm like, 
I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Otherwise we have no signal out here. So this definitely frees it up so we can sit here, maybe camp overnight and actually work and be able to still upload what we gotta do for our clients, uh, what I gotta do for YouTube, um, just be interactive still while being out on location. So not too bad, 75 megabits per second. Um, the upload speed, I would like to see a little bit higher in the future as we go. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, but it's still way better than what I had, which was zero. Um, so I'll take it, but gonna be looking for that higher upload speed. But the download speed, we are not complaining at all. All right guys, well it is the next day and last night I finished some edits and this morning I am going ahead and uploading those uh, to Google Drive for my client. I just did another speed test. Looks like we're just under 100 megabits per second and the upload speed still isn't super high, but it is working flawlessly out here where there is no signal otherwise. The other consideration with the Starlink is definitely gonna be the power consumption. I've been monitoring my batteries like basically since I plugged it in yesterday and it definitely draws power. It's not terrible, but it's just something I have to be mindful of now. And especially when it's cloudy and not super sunny, direct sunlight out, it's gonna draw more power than uh, is coming in from the sun. So just something I have to be mindful of and I might have to just, you know, fire it up when I need it. And then, you know, just be conservative with my batteries. As far as price goes, I don't think I mentioned this yet. It does come in at about 700 bucks for all the gear and then the first month of subscription, which is 130 bucks per month. Um, but the cool thing about um, the Starlink RV is that if you're not traveling, you can pause it and then uh, when you need it again, just resume it for that next month. in motion as you can see um, we have left the coast um, had to run into Santa Rosa for a little bit to pick up a tent of all things uh, for this product shoot that I'm about to go do but I am booking a campground for the night but I thought it'd be a good opportunity at this while I'm doing the shoot as well yeah I want to see how it does in different settings close to trees I will show you what that looks like once we get there all right guys, we have made it to the campground for the night. As you can see, we found a nice spot here. Got the place pretty much to ourselves in this area where the tent campers go. And I know there's a doggy. There's a dog in there that wants out. Come on. Oh, damn. Hold on. Put you on leash, come here. There, now you're on leash. Let's see how far we can stretch it though. But also, so as you can see, we are completely surrounded by trees above us. Starlink will not work under here. However, I'm going to try out out in this grassy area to see if it's far enough away. That's what I'm curious, how clear a path it needs and how much it cuts down the signal. It's something I've been wanting to test out since I've gotten it. The signal here already isn't that great. Let's run a speed test just for fun and see what we got. Yeah, so that is a pretty sad speed test there. Less than a megabit per second download. I thought it was pretty rough. Um, so, and that was with me touching uh, my phone to the signal booster, so that was even boosted. Um, so now we're gonna put the Starlink to the true test where I have cell signal, but it's very weak and the, the Starlink will hopefully just crush that, fingers crossed. Okay, so we got the long cable and I basically have it set as far out as I can get it so that it's the most open area I could find at this spot. So there's like a good look at our campsite there. And here's the Starlink. Time to put it to the test. Let's plug it in and see what kind of speeds we're looking at and see if we're getting anywhere near what we're getting out by the coast. Not gonna lie, that's the first time I've seen it do that and that was pretty cool. Um, so it has found satellite 
Um, so that's good. Just to make sure I'm getting optimized speed, I'm gonna go as close to the modem as possible. But also, look how cool these trees look. It's nice having shade over here. Um, not so nice for solar or Starlink, but other than that, it's nice. All right, so now we are right by the modem, which is fired up. Let's turn the app on and see what we got. All right, so as I suspected, it was gonna be a little bit less since we do have some obstructions and it looks like it's shooting. Now it looks like it's pointing off straight to where there's trees blocking the way. It is less, um, but you gotta compare it to the 0.8 megabits that was the alternative. Um, and did you see that upload speed? I'm sorry I'm geeking out right now, but the upload speed makes up for it. So I don't think we'll have any trouble uploading stuff. Long story short, we have signal out here, far better than what we would have with a signal booster. Starlink is part of my life now. It's been a game changer, especially going into this dead zones. Having that peace of mind was priceless. How I upload videos for you guys and for my clients, it just made so much sense and I could wait no longer. So I'm so excited. I've only had it for like less than a week and I already can say wholeheartedly that it is one of the best investments I've purchased for this van. And sure, it has its limitations, it's new technology, but it is light years beyond where I thought I'd be let a, a year ago, let alone five years ago, having my own satellite dish that I can put outside my van, on top of my van, wherever it has a clear view, and be able to have really, really, really good signal. Great signal. I just, it's so crazy. I've actually witnessed a couple of the Starlink launches. I've seen them, it, they're all in like a singular line as they go, it looks so crazy. If you ever have the opportunity to see Starlink satellites going up, it's its absolutely crazy. YouTube, or, or Google Image, the satellite launches, because it's crazy looking. Anyway, I'm just all excited right now, and I want to share more of this with you guys as I learn. Also, stay tuned for more updates on the Starlink. I'm sure this technology is only going to improve as time goes on. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, let's keep this conversation going as always. Thank you so much for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions for me. Subscribe for more travel and lifestyle videos from me and Sam, and we will see you in the next video.